I mean, again, we, you know, we we didn't think we were going to make it for a while. We, were, we won our last two games, so we're very excited. You know, we have a rematch down here against a very good team, but, uh, you know, we're excited for the challenge. Right. So you guys have played Badger before, but how do you plan on winning this game tonight? Well, obviously their offense is really a uh, very potent offense. You know, we got to stop the fullback. Um, you know, Cole's a heck of an athlete, and I, I know he's had a great season. So, you know, it starts there and then just uh, protecting the ball. We had a few turnovers the first time we played. Great. Thank you so much. Back to you, Jake. Thank you, Edie. And as we heard Coach Wedekin on, Milton ended up losing that game, despite the fact that it was two months ago. Um, I had the chance to actually take in that game last night and um, kind of follow along with how the matchup between Lake Geneva and Milton went. Um, and my key for Milton, heading into tonight's matchup, they've got to make sure that they start on time. Milton played a relatively decent game in the second portion of that contest between Lake Geneva, but they ended up in a deep 19-point that they perform well and don't come out slow in a playoff game. The stakes are huge tonight. You've got to be ready to go out and perform. Make a big play early. Spark your team and see what you can do to go out there and give your team the momentum early. Now I think we've got Edie over on the other sideline. She's speaking to head coach of Lake Geneva Badger, Matt Hensler. Thanks, Jake. I'm here with Badger's coach, Matt Hensler. Coach, congratulations for making it to the playoffs. How are you and the team feeling tonight? Uh, thank you. Uh, we feel good. Uh, anytime you get to the postseason, it starts a brand new season, the second season, so we're excited about it. Right. So before the playoffs, you guys beat Milton 26-14. to What strategies are you having to hopefully win tonight's game as well? Well, um, you know, that was seven weeks ago, so almost two months. A lot can happen in those two months. So um, we, we want to see who, basically who's improved the most. We'll, we'll find out tonight. Great. Thank you so much. You Back to you. Appreciate it, Edie. And for Lake Geneva, the key is going to be they're the favorites in tonight's matchup. They have to make sure that they stay patient. They've got an explosive offense and defense. They can make big plays on both sides of the ball. The worst thing you can do is kind of get those nerves. Like I was saying with Milton, you need to make sure that you're letting your key players make the big plays for you when you need them to. Don't feel like you've got to force the issue. You've got a full football game. Take your time, and when the big play has an opportunity to happen, let it happen and take control of this game. Now we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. This is WGDD Sports. I was picking the boys up after practice when they're like, can we get Quick Trip? Actually, that was my plan. What would Quick Trip's take home meals being? As the Quick Trip lady says, freshly made and absolutely delicious. But opportunity knocked. I go, if you let dad give you haircuts, and they say, deal. At Quick Trip, the boys are like spaghetti, chicken tenders, mac and cheese. After an easy dinner, it was time to pay the piper. Dad's like, who's next? A deal's a deal. Quick Trip, we got you covered. Here's to those who break the mold, to the few who dare to dream. We see you, we understand you, we are you.
perfect for autumn football. Gotta love the atmosphere the of Friday night Kansas Doug Laurent, playoff. BJ Lagaki, Vinny DePlaris, Bryce Pop, and Gary Nybauer. If you're interested in becoming an official, go to www.wiawi.org. Click on officials and then become an official. All right, so Midland High School fans out as they get ready to receive the opening kickoff. Gall Ashton and Jake Campion, the two receivers in the backfield, ready to field the potential kickoff from Lake Geneva. Ball on the tee for the opening kickoff. Pleased to have you joining us tonight for WGT Sports presentation of this game between Lake Geneva and Milton. 22, ready for the kickoff. The whistle, the run up, and we are underway. A few bounces before the kick is fielded. Milton takes up off the left sideline. Looks like they're going to have field position to start around the 31 tonight. And this Milton offense heads onto the field. This is going along with what I said in the pregame. Milton needs to make sure that they start on time tonight. They had some costly turnovers, including a pick six in the first half of the last game that they played against Lake Geneva. They need to make sure that they aren't making those mistakes early. A playoff game can get away from you really quickly if you're making those mistakes early. They need to make sure they're patient, establish the run game, and not make any costly turnovers on this opening drive. Everyone at the line, one running back in the backfield. Snap, and it looks like a quarterback power. Not much of a game for Milton. Big stop early for Lake Geneva. Back, off and out of carry. Lost the yard, second and 11. It'll be second and 11 tonight. Ball on the 30. Lake Geneva has the potential to force a big play early on in this game. I would not be surprised to see this defense not only going for the takeaway, but their chance to score points as the evening goes on. Takes a snap, play action. Deep pass downfield. In and out of his arms. Number 15 for Milton. Put it right in the receiver's bird basket and could not come up with it. Really, just a beautiful throw by the Milton quarterback. Number 15 for Milton, that is Chaden Jensen. Could not come up with that one. Now if they're in 11, Milton is going to have to see what they can do here to come up with a third and long situation. Wide receivers on both sides. There's the snap. Oh, in and out of the receiver's fingertips. So close to a big play there from Milton. Number 80 with the drop. Brogan McIntyre. And the punt unit is going to come on the field for Milton. Oh, so close. Just went in and out of his fingers. Really close to making a catch there. And I mean, Milton's got to stay patient. They can't be going for those big chunk plays early if they're not going to have any success with them. The momentum is going to shift the other way for Lake Geneva. All right. Lake Geneva ready to field the punt. Just a minute elapsing in the first drive here of this game between the Milton Red Hawks and Lake Geneva Badger. Bit of a lob snap and a high punt. Hopefully it takes a good bounce for Milton. Lands around the 37. And it is down. And so this Badger offense is going to take the field. I would not be surprised to see a heavy dose of the running game on this first drive. That's where they had success in that first game. It was in the second half and they kind of started to move into the passing game that they had trouble against Milton in that first game. 
Lake Geneva, the favorites, as they come to this game 7-2, looking to secure a win in this first round matchup between these two teams. One receiver split out wide to the right, everybody else at the line. In motion, handoff up the middle. Short game, maybe a yard. The big play potential is there for Lake Geneva. They just need to stay patient. A gain of one, second and nine. Brings us a second and nine here. Milton, on the other hand, four and five on the season, a losing team in this first round of the playoffs. A win tonight would bring the record to 500 and would be quite the statement win heading into future rounds of the playoffs. Similar formation, one wide receiver out to the right. Bit of an option run to the outside there. Had me fooled up here in the booth. I thought they ran a similar play the last drive, but instead, a couple of yards on the carry, and there's going to be another third and long here, this time for Lake Geneva Badger. I would not put it past Badger to not only look to pick up the first down here, but take a deep shot. They had success with those in that first game. Milton, on the other hand, needs to not make mistakes in coverage. Stick to your man like Lou. Do not give up the easy pass. Rather, it's a fullback run up the middle. Picks up maybe three or four yards. And now, it's decision time for Lake Geneva Badger and their coaching staff. This is probably about four and two. And it looks as though they're keeping the offense on the field. No, no, it appears now they've switched over to the punt team. This is kind of what I was referring to at the beginning of the game. You'd rather not give Milton momentum early. You're the better team. Those opportunities will come. Maybe the right move here to punt early. No. It looks as though potentially maybe they're gonna they're gonna run a play here. Power up the middle, breaks through the line, and gets the first down. My apologies. I thought that they were in the punt you now, but instead they hand on the ball. Paul Berger with the carry. He's gonna be a big name we hear tonight from this Lake Geneva Badger offense. Takes it through the middle, what a carry. Burkhorn's one of the main threats here on this Lake Geneva Badger offense. He's gonna be a name that we hear quite a bit tonight. Back to first to 10, almost at midfield, around their own 48 Lake Geneva Badger. Similar option play. Pitched outside and along the sidelines. Probably a gain of about five or six there. Hey, let's go! Oh, we're going on the carry. Gain of four to the 48 of the Red Hawks. Second and six. All right, second and six. Ball on the other side of midfield at Milton's 48. This explosive running game for the Lake Geneva Badger offense. Keeping their formations tight, using their power runners to create some big plays. There he goes, off to the left, right up to the 40 yard line. That's gonna be another first down for Lake Geneva Badger. That is number 28, Manny Amon. So you can see there an option play out there, gets to the ball, breaks a tackle. First and ten, Badger. Driven out along the sideline. Another first and ten for Badger. Weather conditions once again soothing a running game like Lake Geneva Badger has. Kind of a chilly night here. All right, man in motion. Handoff off the middle, and he is gone. Number 22, Cole Berghorn. What did I say? Those explosive plays would come for Lake Geneva Badger, and that is an early touchdown. Six-nothing, Badger. Nothing but green grass. I don't think he got touched on the way to the end zone. And so Badger will take the early Cole lead. Long Cole Burkhorn, a player to watch here for Badger. And now Milton is going to have to respond. Extra point unit is on here to try and make this a 7-0 game. 26-14 in the earlier match. A bit of an odd score. The Lake Geneva Badger kicking game had some issues in that game, so... 
Snap is down. Kick is up and good. And with that, we will take our first break here. I am Jake Keith from WGT Sports. Your score, Badger 7, Milton 0. Badger 7, Red Hawks 0. I was picking the boys up after practice when they're like, can we get Quick Trip? Actually, that was my plan. What would Quick Trip's take home meals being? As the Quick Trip lady says, freshly made and absolutely delicious. But opportunity knocked. I go, if you let dad give you haircuts, and they say, deal. At Quick Trip, the boys are like spaghetti, chicken tenders, mac and cheese. After an easy dinner, it was time to pay the piper. Dad's like, who's next? A deal's a deal. Quick Trip, we got you covered. Here's to those who break the mold, to the few who dare to dream. We see you, we understand you, we are you. Bring your ambition to Gateway and we'll supply the world-class training. Our facilities and programs are state of the art and our staff are experts in their fields. We're the number one choice for those who want to be a part of something more. Put your ambition into motion at Gateway. We are back. I'm Jake Keefe here in Lake Geneva for this Division II playoff game between Badger and uh, Milton. And it looks like we are going to have to re-kick here off the opening kickoff. Kickoffs at the high school level start at the 40. Penalty's going to push this one back towards the 35. And now Milton, after allowing an early offensive touchdown to Lake Geneva, are going to have to respond. They do not want to allow themselves to fall into too big of a hole early. That was exactly what we saw in that August matchup between these two teams. The offense is going to have to come out firing here. Potentially a big return on this kickoff would help with that. Love seeing all the different cowboy hats on the crowd tonight. Milton's got plenty of time to potentially go and lead the drive here. They do not have to rush these. It was later in the game when they made a push at a comeback earlier this year. All they've got to do is string a few plays together, get some confidence, get this Badgers defense on their heel, and from there they can play the field position game and work towards winning this football game. All starts here on this kickoff. Bit of a line drive, a knuckler. This is fielded around the 30-yard line. Takes off up the middle. Decent starting field position here for Milton as they come out around the 40 to start this Jack drive. Champion on the return. Brought down by Wes Anderson. First and 10 Red Hawks at their 39-yard line. So this drive will start at the 39. We've got a first and 10 for Milton. Starting quarterback for Milton tonight, number 23, that is Zach Bothan. He will take the snap, roll left, and get caught in a pile of bodies. Not much of a gain, maybe a yard there. Zach Bothan on the carry. Gain of the yard. Second and nine from the 40 yard line. Both these drives now have started around midfield. I would not be surprised to continue to see the trend of going for it on fourth down. If you're Milton, run a couple more run plays here. See if you can establish a chance at the easy third or fourth down. Breaks off to the right, makes a guy miss, ends up right in front of the 50 yard line. Probably gonna be about a yard short of the first down there. Good blocking there by the Milton uh, offense. It's number three, Jack Hampton there on the run. Third and one. Let's see what Milton does here. Tight formation. Two in the backfield. Takes the snap. 
Runs up the little, looks for space, and he lost a yard. He did not get there. And now, it is Milton's turn to see whether or not they will go for it on fourth down here. On this opening possession. Made an effort. Cut off to the right and was met by a swarm of Lake Geneva Badger defenders. Not much of a chance. And now we're in the situation where if you don't convert this, you're in a hole early. You're on your own side of the midfield. Fourth and one here for Milton. Two wide receivers out to the left. Need the conversion here. Shift to an audible. Four wide receivers now. Three to the left, one to the right. Shotgun snap. Similar run off to the left, and he got past midfield. That's good enough for the first down. Gutsy call here by Milton, looking to answer Lake Geneva. First down at the Badger 49 yard line. Once again, number 23, Zach Bothoon with the run, and they will move the sticks and keep this drive going here. Five minutes left in this first quarter. Once again, I'm thanking you for tuning in tonight. It's WTGD Sports broadcast between Milton and Lake Geneva. Bothoon takes the snap again, rolls off to his left, and we've seen that play a few times now on this Milton drive, where it's sort of just a power. Um, with good blocking, they've managed to pick up five or ten yards at a time, but on another play like this, good penetration by the Lake Geneva defense, and they managed to take him down for, for a short game, if not a loss. That is going to work maybe here in the early going, but as the offense starts to maybe get tired, you're going to have to potentially move to some other plays in your arsenal, see what else you can do with this offense. All right, Milton, two receivers out to the left, takes the snap. Quick little bubble screen there, and a good block by the outside wide receiver manages to pick up five or six yards there. That play was made as much by the wide receiver who caught the ball as the other one who set the screen. Now we're looking at maybe third and four, third and four here for the Red Hawks. Once again, still in that no man's land at midfield. You have to assume that this is four down territory here for Milton. You can draw up another run play here and see what happens. Bothoon takes the snap. End around from the wide receiver and he gets taken down. Good low tackle from number 85 of Badger. That's Joe Liptak. Gets the receiver in motion. Clean handoff, just good pressure by the defense. 34 forces him inside, and then Joe Liptak with a low tackle takes him down. And we have another fourth down attempt here from Milton. Longer than the previous one, fourth and four here. Looks like we are going to have a timeout here from Milton. Think that it's over. We are going to take a quick break. Score, Lake Geneva 7, Milton 0. This is WGDD Sports. Badger High School would like to thank Aurora Rehabilitation Services. My name is Frank J. Paris, and I am the primary and principal uh, owner of the law offices of Frank J. Paris. Been an attorney since 1985, so over 30 years. I can help you with all your needs in criminal defense, traffic, DUIs, or any other situations that you or a loved one is in trouble. Please call me at any time at 656-9906. I'm available by email at fparisfjpllc.com, Facebook, or any other social media. for Milton. Big play early in this game. Receiver in motion. We are going to have a flag here. Is this going to push this back to fourth and nine? That will be a false start. So that will push Milton back and you'd have to imagine that might bring the punt team on the field. Yes, it appears Milton is not going to be able to go for this one. Finally, a little bit of sustained offense for Milton and it looks like a penalty on fourth and four. They're going to have to punt it away. I think this is smart for Milton, though. You want to play the field position game right now. 
with Badger and make sure that you don't allow those big plays. Pin them back deep in their own end, get a stop, and then keep the momentum going. Punter receives the snap, almost pressure there, and a high punt. It's gonna bounce, take a friendly Milton roll. That's gonna go past the 15, probably get down right in front of Lake Geneva's own 10 yard line at the 11. And so this is a critical drive early in this game for both teams. If you're Lake Geneva, you're looking to answer back the exact same way you did last drive. You're looking for that big play on offense. If you're Milton, you need a stop here. You cannot let this game get away from you like it did earlier this year. I'd like to remind you again that the team that wins this game will move on in the WIAA Division II playoffs. We'll play the winner of Kettle Moraine and Racine Horlick. Gotta love playoff football here early in fall. One wide receiver on the left for Badger. Takes a snap and a pitch to the left. Broken tackle along the sidelines. Big run Cole from number 22 there, Cole Burghorn. We've got some laundry on the field and this one might be coming back. Excellent broken tackle there on that run to the outside. Burghorn is listed as a fullback, but he's got the speed of any halfback that's going to be on the field for either of these teams. He's got getaway speed, and you need Holy to make sure that you keep him in front of you. Having said that, it looks like a hole is going to push back Lake Geneva Badger here, so that play will be washed. Lake Geneva starting deep in their own end, so they will not receive the full 10-yard penalty. Only push back about five yards to start here. This will be a first and 16 from Lake Geneva's own six. Handoff up the middle. Oh no! It was kept by the quarterback and blown up in the backfield. Good penetration there. And now all of a sudden, second. And 16. Second and 16, if you're Milton, I think you need to stay the course here. I think you don't want to bring too much pressure on defense. It's appealing. You want to try and blow these plays up and get the safety, but you've done a good job containing the Badger offense so far on this drive. All you need to do is stay patient and make sure you get the stop here, force a deep punt, and see what you can do on offense. Ball on the right hash, one receiver out to the left. Run up the middle. Oh, rather, it's outside. Number 28, Manny Amon for Badger. With a big gain there, probably 20 yards upfield. We get another look at that really quick. Option play out to the left, pitched off. Manny Ammon takes it down the sideline. Met by a few Milton defenders, but not until... He's picked up a first down and given Lake Geneva a little breathing room in their own end. Coming towards the end of this first quarter here, just a minute to play. One receiver out to the right on the other hash now. Pitch play out to the right, Burghorn. Plenty of space, picks up another first down. This Lake Geneva offense will wear you down over the course of the game. We've only seen a couple pass attempts, but the running game has done its job. It's allowed them to pick up chunk yardage. They haven't needed to throw the ball downfield. They're moving the sticks consistently, and that's all at the hands of Berghorn. All right, another first and 10 at the 41 here for Lake Geneva Badger. Might be the last play of the first quarter here. In motion in the backfield. Passing play. Here's a deep shot downfield. He's open and he's got it. 10, touchdown. Nobody around him. And that is gonna be a 14 nothing lead for Lake Geneva Badger. Number two, Chandler Loveridge with the catch. I mean, he must have had five or 10 yards of separation. 
and Milton is going to dig himself deeper and deeper into a hole here. What a throw and what a catch. The exchange for seeing the receiver and the quarterback was seamless. You establish the run game and you can take those shots downfield. And now we wait to see if Lake Geneva can make it 14 nothing. Kick is up and good. And, his is good. and so up and to this point, this game has Milton followed script. Zero. We've seen Milton have trouble early, whereas big plays from the Lake Geneva offense have allowed them to take a 14-0 lead in the first quarter here. They are gonna have to fight back, and we know they have the potential to do so. They've got the opportunity to build these drives and make progress and chip away at this lead, but it's gotta start sooner or later. Because the deeper you get into this hole, the less time you're going to have to work and the more trouble you're going to be in. And as we said earlier, this Lake Geneva Badgers defense has the opportunity to potentially not only commit turnovers, or rather force turnovers, but score points off them. There's 24 seconds left here in this first quarter. Thank you again for tuning in to WGDD Sports. I'd like to let you know that WGDD Sports' coverage of the Bradford Red, uh, rather, Lake Geneva Badger versus the Milton Red Hawks is presented by Kenosha County Public Health. An overdose can happen to anyone. Get trained on how to administer Narcan. Call 262-605-6744. Kickoff here by Badger from the left hash. Away. Some low kickoffs tonight from Badger. Fielded now one bounce. Off to the right. Makes a move and gets up to almost midfield. So good starting field position here for Milton. Look at the ball carrier vision here from the return man. Taking his time, letting his block set up. And when he sees the hole, he runs through it and gets a big return for his team. Nothing like a special teams play to build momentum. Your team's only got to move half the field now. Let's see what Milton can do here on this drive. Luckily, just one more play here until the end of the first quarter. Bunch formation, running back off to the left side. 23 takes it, up the left. Keeps his legs moving, almost enough for the first down. Down at the 45. Zach Wilson on the carry. And that will take us to the end of the first quarter. I thank you for tuning in here to the WGD source. The, the score, the quarter. Lake Geneva Badger 14, Milton Redhawks 0. We'll be right back. At the University of Wisconsin Parkside, we're producing the next generation of leaders, students studying biosciences, IT, business management, and digital design and fabrication will lead us into a new era of success, powered by bright young minds that solve problems and invent products. And it starts with choosing a university that's affordable, with small class sizes, in demand. Bunch formation for Milton. Snap, once again. Number 23, we've seen it time and time again. Takes the ball, off tackle, picks up a few yards for this Milton offense. That is going to be another first yard, first down, rather. First and 10 from the 40 yard line. I'd like to remind you, number 23, Zach Bothoon, he's been the driving force behind what success Milton has had on the offense so far tonight. 
And Milton for the first time all gang pushes into Lake Geneva Badger territory. Taken down in the backfield. The defense is going to begin to key in on these plays. You cannot continue to run the same play over and over if you're a Milton. Good penetration up front. And that play gets blown up. Good game tackle there by Lake Geneva Badger. Bunch formation. One running back to the right. Takes the snap. For the second time in just as many plays. Caught up in the backfield. At a certain point, I'm going to sound like a broken record player. Now it's third down, and we are going to see if Milton's hand is forced, if they're going to have to try something further downfield. Look at all the players swarming to the ball on the Badger defense. Not only are you in danger of potentially having to punt, give away the possession, when you've got that many players around your quarterback, you're at risk for a fumble. You've got to make sure that you've got not only ball security, but you're running other plays so they can't key in and force those turnovers. Receiver in motion. It looks like there's a handoff to a pass back to Bothoon. He gets the ball, spin move, and finally gets taken down. Quite an impressive play. The handoff. Almost a bit of a mini Philly special there, except rather than a flip, it's just a direct pass back to Bothoon. Nice stiff arm along the sidelines. And this drive will continue for Milton as they are at the 27 of Badger. Milton looking to chalk up their first points of the evening. Wide receivers out on both sides. Takes the snap. Up the middle, makes a man miss. Take it down. Both of has and continues to be the straw that stirs the drink here for this Milton Red Hawk offense. At the 20 yard line, second. And three. All right, second and three. If you're Milton, you put yourself in these manageable situations early in downs. You're gonna have success on offense. Both of them once again takes off to the left, sheds a couple tacklers. This is going to be a first and goal for Milton here in the second quarter. The tackling so sure earlier for Lake Geneva Badger on this drive has suddenly begun to fail them. One missed tackled, followed by a couple Lake Geneva Where defenders taking Bothoon down around the seven yard line. The seven yard line. If you're Milton, you need to take care of the ball here and at least come away with some points on this possession. A turnover here would be devastating. Make sure you get three points if you can't punch it in. Takes the snap. Power up the middle and Bothoon is in. Milton scores and we've got ourselves a football game. 14-6 Lake Geneva. Takes the snap. Good blocking up front. Number 33 there for Milton. That's going to be Jackson Cole throwing some blocks and allows Milton to get on the board here in this contest with 8.26 left to go in the second quarter. Place kicker for Milton. That kick is no good. So problems in the kicking game early for Milton. They're going to have to make that up later on. And we will sit at a score of 14-6. to The score back to 14, Milton 6. I'd like to remind you really quick that WGD Sports is brought to you by Quick Trip. They've got you covered with fresh fruits, coffee, dessert, and more. Tailored for your busy life, Quick Trip. They've got you covered. Gateway Technical College, where your success is their priority. With more than 70 career programs in areas like healthcare, advanced manufacturing, business, IT, and human and protective services, gtc.edu. And so Milton finally manages to put 
points on the board here in the second quarter. It's almost a replay of the game that we saw earlier this year. Lady Geneva takes a big lead early, and then Milton manages to answer back midway through the second quarter. We will see if they can keep that pressure up and maybe actually potentially force a tie or take the lead, unlike they did later in that. Ooh, looks like a fake onside kick, maybe, or short kickoff there for Milton. Kind of a strange run up there on the kickoff. Now they will spread out, ride, and prepare. Say, kick it deep. Kickoff is fielded. Return to the left with a little bit of a spin. Taken down. Right before Badger's own 30. WGTD Sports, happy to bring you this broadcast of this game between the Milton Red Hawks and Lake Geneva Badgers. First and 10 Badgers. Badger in their black uniforms. Looks to be pink socks. First and 10 here. A run to the outside, had the defense fooled, and nine is off and away. Down the left sideline, nothing but room, does a little southern step, and steps out of bounds. Just after the 25 of Milton. Big play in the running game. we said it time and time again. Little bit of deception, and he's got room all in front of him. That's going to be number nine, Keegan Huber. First and ten, Badger. First and ten. Badger has already moved their way up in the field position against this Milton defense. Big chunk play there for Lake Geneva Badger. And now, Lake Geneva on the other side of midfield now, right around the 25. Wide receiver off to the right. Handoff up the middle, taken down around the 20. Cole Burkhorn up the middle. That will bring us to a second down. High school offenses tend to skew a little bit more towards the running game, but I've been surprised by the amount of volume we've seen both of the running backs on both teams really receive tonight. Handoff up the middle. It's Burghorn again. He's got enough for a first down before he's taken down by that defense. To the 14-yard line. First and 10 Badgers. A quick drive here from Lake Geneva, taking only about a minute, minute and a half off the clock to already be in the red zone up against Milton. In motion, off to the left. Quarterback appears to be adjusting the play, potentially. Another man in motion, takes a snap. Taken down. Huber on the carry. Another similar play as we saw earlier in this drive, sort of a fake handoff, followed by Huber running to the outside, but and that one was snuffed out by Milton's defense. We head to second and nine. Here, Lake Geneva, hang on to the ball here. A field goal still puts you up two scores. Handoff out to the outside. That is sniffed out, but he's still on his feet. Takes three or four guys to take him down. Number 28, a val val valiant effort. Manny Amon. And for it, he's greeted with a loss. <laughs> And so now we will face a third and long here. Well, at the 17 yard line, third and 13. Third and 13. Lake Geneva has shown that they will reach into their bag of tricks tonight. They will offer you some deception as they move around at the line. Oh. 
Fake pitch, rolls outside, throws it up the middle, and that is picked off! Number 14 from Milton. That's gonna be Mason Pusateri, and he makes that big play we were asking for. Start on time, Milton. Force that play, get the momentum on your side. And what looks like a promising drive from that Badger offense is now all of a sudden going the other way. Go back to 14, go back to 14. A couple good moves by the safety on the return as well before he is driven out at the 10 of Milton. <laughs> Looks as though number 14. Once again, that is Mason Pusateri. He's got some sort of a Milton turnover chain there on the sideline. We will have to see if that changes hands as the evening goes on. So now, first and 10, deep in their own end, but with the ball back, Milton takes the snap. Zach Bothune up the middle. He's got space at the 50. He is out of bounds. It's a slippery slope. You make that one mistake on offense. The ball's going the other way. And all of a sudden, Milton, the underdogs, the team with the losing record, is driving upfield with a chance to tie this game here in the second quarter. What a run along the sideline. I have to imagine that at a certain point, Lake Geneva is going to be able to key in on Bothoon. He has been the main force behind their offense all night. You've got to keep two, maybe three guys on him at all times. Even if the blocking's good, you've got to make sure that you do something to slow that man up, if not stop him. First and 10 takes the snap. Look at how shifty Bothoon is as he gets taken down around midfield. So now a second and seven play. Milton just past midfield at the 48. The Red Hawks looking to capitalize on a turnover here. Takes the snap, rolls out to the right. Yeah, carry. As a defense, you've got to get getting tired, not only physically from having to stop this Milton running game, but mentally from seeing the same play over and over again and still struggling to stop it. Third and three. Chat Campton, they're on the run, and now a third and three for this Milton offense. Around midfield, have to imagine you've got two plays here to pick up the first down. You've got the momentum. What are you going to do with it here? Third and three. Receivers out to both sides. Man in motion. That is blown up in the backfield. Number 53 for Lake Geneva Badger. Got in there and blew that play up. That is Billy Dzerzanowski. Jackson Braden on the stop for a loss. Fourth and seven. Now this fourth and seven, you have to bring out the punt team. What goes from a manageable third down turns into a fourth down where you've got to give the ball back. But a good effort there by Milton. Big turnover. They managed to push the ball past midfield, but ultimately they're going to have to kick it back away. This is how Milton managed to have success earlier in the game, though. They pinned Lake Geneva deep, they got the ball back, and then they managed to score it. Gunners fan out on both sides. There's the punt. It is a booming punt fielded. Initial tackler mix. He may have outkicked his coverage. Breaks off to the right and finally taken down. It's going to be just past the 20. We are going to take a quick break. This is WGTD Sports. Lake Geneva Badger up by eight. Oh, it's a 23-yard line, first and 10 Badgers. I was picking the boys up after practice when they're like, can we get Quick Trip? Actually, that was my plan. What would Quick Trip's take home meals being? As the Quick Trip lady says, freshly made and absolutely delicious. But opportunity knocked. I go, if you let dad give you hair, Downfield. This intercepted again. 
Lake Geneva Badger goes for the deep shot on first down. Ball is kicked up in the air. There is nothing doing there for the Badger offense. Sort of an awkward throw. The quarterback had to roll around the other way to get that ball off. He had a receiver in the vicinity, but a good deflection, and that interception is going to mean Jack Campton, who we've seen have success on the offense tonight for Milton, coming down with that one and giving Milton the ball back again at midfield. It's okay if you were to punt it away. You got the ball back right away. And now Milton, same place they were just one play ago. Milton's got the potential here not only to either tie or inch closer to Lake Geneva here. As we approach the end of the second quarter, they could milk some time off the clock potentially and not give the ball back to Lake Geneva. Throw downfield. And it is going to be interesting to see no yellow flag on the field. It looked as though the receiver for Milton got tripped up, but the ball may have been out of his vicinity. Not a great throw from the quarterback. Must have been three to five feet over his head. Closer to the Lake Geneva defenders, really, than his own receiver. Now we are faced with a second and ten at Lake Geneva's 44. Once again, a chilly October night here at Lake Geneva Badger. Second ten. Bunched up formation. Blocking back, running back off to the left. Takes a snack. Bothoon up the middle. It's taken down relatively quickly, but we've got a flag. 45 degrees here in Lake Geneva. Believe the matchup between these two teams earlier in the year. We saw temperatures in the mid 80s. Cramping was an issue. I don't envision that being much of a problem tonight. Looks like a holding call there on Milton. Holding against the Red Hawks. So Milton will back up here. A second and 10 becomes a second and 20. Second and 20. Can you stick with both of them? Can you continue to run the ball up the middle? If you're picking up chunk yards five or 10 at a time, you can continue to run it on second and 20. Having said that, if the Badger offense is starting, rather the Badger defense is starting to key in on that, you're going to want to throw the ball downfield here. Two receivers split out to the right. Somebody on Lake Geneva Badger jumped. Flag is down. We're having fun with field position here on WGDD Sports. Second and 20 becomes second and 15. Five yard penalty will make it second. And Clock continues to run. No two-minute warning here at the high school level. All right. Two wide receive, rather three off to the right, one to the left. Bothoon takes the shotgun snap. Runs right. Man, it looks like he had three or four like de defenders draped around him, but still manages to pick up a gain on that run play. Bothoon is so elusive. Well, Even when the play looks like it's blowing up in the backfield, he still manages to make a guy or two miss. One, two, three, four, five Badgers. Six Badger defenders make contact with him before he's brought down. Now it looks like we've got a timeout. I'd like to take this chance to remind you that WGDD Sports is brought to you by the law offices of Frank J. Parise, helping serve criminal defense needs, including traffic violations and DUIs, for over 35 years. 7001 30th Avenue, Kenosha. Call 262-656-9906. In Carthage College, which guarantees graduation in four years to all students who meet criteria, ranked one of the best values in the Midwest. Carthage.edu. Milton still with two timeouts. 136 left to play here in the second quarter. At this point, I think time is less of a factor for the Milton offense. You need to figure out a way to pick up this third and 18 here if you want to continue moving the ball. Otherwise, you're looking at going down at the half, down one score, potentially two, depending on what Lake Geneva Badger would do if they were to receive the ball back. Jackson. Jackson. 
Third and 18. Got to expect a pass play here. We'll see what they do. Two in the backfield. Receivers split out to both sides. Man in motion. Loads up for the deep pass. Single coverage. Overthrow. Good effort there. He had the matchup he wanted. One on one to the outside. If he makes a man miss or he blows the coverage, that's going to be a touchdown for Milton. But instead, you take the deep shot. You can't convert. You've got to punt it away. All right. Fourth down, punt team is on for Milton. I'd like to remind you, Milton's last punt almost got blocked, if I remember correctly. Handles the snap well, and a spectacular punt. Once again, maybe a bit too far downfield. Initial tackler misses, he's still got space. Along the sidelines. He's got speed too. Pats the 50. Taken down at the 42. Big return here from Lake Geneva Badger. You punt the ball away. You set Lake Geneva up with great field position. And now you've got to worry about potentially giving up a score here to end the second half. Lake Geneva's going to want to capitalize here. Good moves along the sidelines. I've been really impressed with the special teams on both sides of the ball tonight, especially in the return game. They've been patient and waited for their blocks to set up, and it's allowed a couple of huge chunk returns early on. One thirteen left to go in the second here. An option play, pitch to the outside. Cole Berghorn on the carry. Cole Berghorn. Continues to pick up yardage here for Lake Geneva. Clock is running. No, rather stopped. 104 still. Now running. Lake Geneva badge with two timeouts as they try to move into at least field goal range here on this drive. Throw to the outside. That one's going to be blown dead. Ref stands on his own flag there. Ball start against the Badgers. That one is against the Badger. I believe a full start. So they will move the back five. Clock will continue to run. 45 left here in the second quarter. Two wide receivers out to the left. Let's see if they run a similar play. Quick option, pitch to the outside, but he's got room. Berghorn with a stiff arm. Taken down, I believe around the 22 yard line. Badger is going to call a timeout. We're going to take a quick break and then come back for the end of the second quarter. This is WGTD Sports. Hello. What's up? Hello. 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 It's just a kind thing to do. Sometimes he wants friends, so he say hello. It all starts with hello. It might change the world and make everybody nicer. I don't know. Maybe it's just magic. Maybe if you say hi to one person a day, think about the fact that you might be potentially changing that person's life for the better. Back here tonight, you've got a score of 14 to 6. Lake Geneva Badger with the lead and driving here as they attempt to put up points before the end of the first half. One timeout remaining, 32 and a half seconds left on the clock. One receiver out wide to the right, another one in the slot. Would not be surprised to see something up the middle here. Rather a deep ball out to the outside and that is picked off. Kneeled down in the end zone. Milton with a big turnover. That is likely going to be the end of what was a fantastic opportunity for Lake Geneva to put some points on the board before the end of the half. Way to go up and get the ball at its highest point there by the Milton defender. Kneels it down the end zone, makes a smart play. You may have only put one score on the board, but the way you've held this Lake Geneva offense to only 14 points, if you're Milton, you're feeling really good right now. Hey, on the 
Number 25 picks up the M now for Milton. The turnover chain. That is going to be Ganon Kilgora, the corner for Milton, who picks that up there. Now Milton. Snap to Bothoon. Taken down. And I would have to imagine that both well, teams will be content here to let this clock run out. Take this game to the second half. Clock continues to run. Bothoon. If you've got a runner like Bothoon, why not? Why not take a chance at the end of the half? Why not try to break a break one off? No success there. Milton is going to go to the locker room along with Lake Geneva Badger at halftime. Our score is 14 to 6. Lake Geneva Badger. Once again, I'm Jay Keefe here in for Bob Haggerty with WGDD Sports. A great game so far tonight. The first matchup here of the WIAA Division II playoffs. And we've got some highlights we can hit you with really quick here. Kind of let you know how we got to this point early on in the game. All right, in the first quarter here. Deep shot downfield in and out of the receiver's hands. That would be okay. They would later have a success running the ball on this drive until Cole Bernhorn breaks up the middle and snaps off a huge run for Lake Geneva's first score of the half. Later on, a little quick option there to the outside. Then a deep ball. Nothing but space in front of him. Excellent execution on both ends of that pass by the receiver and the quarterback. Number two takes that in for Badger. Second quarter now. Zach Bothoon. How many times have we said his name before? Defenders all over him. All night. And he's managed to shake and bake his way. Not only for some yards, but a big touchdown there for Milton. I believe at the time that made that game 14-6. to And then after a huge play by Badger quarterback Keegan Huber. Lake Geneva would look as though they were threatening to take a two-score lead once again until Huber falls victim to an interception taking a law on the sidelines there. That was picked off by Mason Pusateri, number 14. Then number 23, Bothoon, again, a law on the sidelines. Fortunately, that drive would fizzle out around midfield until towards the end of the half, Huber... Deep shot downfield would once again be picked off by a Milton defender. Now Huber once again went through a pick. Two picks in the first half for Huber. And so that would bring us to our initial score, 14 to 6 for Lake Geneva Badger. We are going to take a quick break. I will be back for you. The start of the second half. This is WGDD Sports. Once again, your score, Lake Geneva Badger 14, Milton Red Hawks 6. I see no defeat. No defeat. I have the best. In me. In me. So I require the best. Warriors like us. We make our own. We make our own destiny. We make our own destiny. We push back in the face of adversity. We turn up the heat. Is it in you too? Make your move. Make your move. Make your move. Make your move. My name is Frank J. Paris, and I am the primary and principal uh, owner of the law offices of Frank J. Paris. Been an attorney since 1985, so over 30 years. I can help you with all your needs in criminal defense, traffic, DUIs, or any other situations that you or a loved one is in trouble. Please call me at any time at 656-9906. I'm available by email at fparis fjpllc.com, Facebook, or any other social media. I was picking the boys up after practice when they're like, can we get Quick Trip? Actually, that was my plan. What would Quick Trip's take home meals being? As the Quick Trip lady says, freshly made and absolutely delicious. But opportunity knocked. I go, if you let dad give you haircuts, and they say, deal. At Quick Trip, the boys are like spaghetti, chicken tenders, mac and cheese. After an easy dinner, it was time to pay the piper. Dad's like, who's next? A deal's a deal. Quick Trip, we got you covered.
Here's to those who break the mold, to the few who dare to dream. We see you, we understand you, we are you. Bring your ambition to Gateway and we'll supply the world-class training. Our facilities and programs are state-of-the-art and our staff are experts in their fields. We're the number one choice for those who want to be a part of something more. Put your ambition into motion at Gateway. Being a teenager is tough. There's constant pressure to be liked, endless worrying about college, cyberbullying, high expectations, and all the negativity. What do Wisconsin's teens do when they want to block out the noise and clear their heads? They play. Research shows that teenagers who participate in high school sports have lower stress levels, more confidence, and greater self-esteem. And then there's the biggest benefit of all. High school sports are fun. Not just fun. They're a lot of fun. Encourage teenagers to participate in high school sports. They'll stress less and smile more. And they'll be laying the foundation for a happier, healthier future. This message is from the W. IAA. At the University of Wisconsin Parkside, we're producing the next generation of leaders, students studying biosciences, IT, business management, and digital design and fabrication will lead us into a new era of success, powered by bright young minds that solve problems and invent products. And it starts with choosing a university that's affordable, with small class sizes, in-demand programs, and excellent placement rates. See what the future looks like. Visit uwp.edu. Be at Parkside, the University of Wisconsin Parkside. Hello. What's up? Hello. 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 It's just a kind thing to do. Sometimes he wants friends, so you say hello. It all starts with hello. It might change the world and make everybody nicer. I don't know. Maybe it's just magic. Maybe if you say hi to one person a day, think about the fact that you might be potentially changing that person's life for the better. The uh, fire medic program we have here at Gateway is something that the students uh, prefer because they're able to take their Fire One and EMT skills and jump right into some advanced concepts and preparing for the candidate physical ability test. They take the general, ed general education courses and then they're right into the paramedic portion of the, de of the degree. And so they're really accomplishing fire and EMS in a big way and leaving with some major credentials in two years. Right now we're at Kansasville Fire and Rescue. Uh, our students go through um, sets and reps as they rotate through a time and quality standard for each position on an engine company. And as we have uh, one of the three crews not involved at that particular time in the evolutions with the company, we pull them off and we give them concentrated areas of instruction. Right out the gate, you're learning about your gear, what keeps you safe, putting it on, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off, you know, so it's all muscle memory. Um, and then after that, you're out the door, you're on the fire grounds, you're in the burn building, you're on the splashboard, you're up on the roof. You name it, you get your hands on it, and you're going to learn how to use it to the, to the best of your abilities. So we throw a lot at our students, and they're immersed in, in all those different various portions of the learning. They bring it all together when they go out and perform uh, the evolutions outside with the engine company. When you're actually physically out there doing it, then you get how it operates. You get and it all like comes together. So starting from ground zero, you know, what do you have to lay out, like situational awareness, looking around and seeing what's going on and 
just making sure that your team is where it should be, everybody's working in unison. Well, because you're coming out of the program with some major credentials and uh, you've been put through a training process that looks at the quality of the work that you do and the time frame that you do it in, um, as the program ga gains stature, so will the graduates. There are several in this class that um, have already been given conditional offers of employment. You do your learning here, so that way when you go to your department, it's, it's automatic. So it, it makes you seem a little less green to your department when you get there. This program provides solutions to almost every risk that firefighters face. And it becomes a, a way of life, a habit, if you will, of managing yourself and the way that you respond to incidents. So um, they have a good future ahead of them. I am going to go career. So this fall I will start the paramedic portion of the fire medic program. Um, after that, um, start applying, get ready for the CPAT, and hopefully it doesn't take too long to get full time. I love the two departments that I work at. They're very, very supportive of what I do and, and what I want to do in my future. Eventually, I would like to go career, but for now, you know, staying home, local boy, working for the fire department. So why do teenagers play high school sports? Some participate for a sense of purpose, some play to inspire others, and some for the friendships they develop. Very few mention they participate to get an athletic scholarship because they know that less than 2% of all high school athletes are awarded sports scholarships. Whatever the reason for playing, student athletes enjoy all the benefits of participation, including making better decisions. A message from WGTD and the WIAA, keeping the education in sports. Nearly 800 of the state's top student athletes will be recognized for excelling academically and athletically through the WIAA Scholar Athlete Award Program, underwritten by Marshfield Clinic. Applicants will be in the running for the 32 State Scholar Athlete Awards, presented at a reception in May. Application materials are available exclusively online through the WIAA website. Deadline for nominations is March 11, 2022. A message from WGTD and the WIAA, keeping the education in sports. I see no defeat. No defeat. I have the best. In me. In me. So I require the best. Warriors like us. We make our own. We make our own destiny. We make our own destiny. We push back in the face of adversity. We turn up the heat. Is it in you too? Make your move. Make your move. Make your move. Make your move. My name is Frank J. Paris, and I am the primary and principal. Uh, owner of the law offices of Frank J. Paris. Been an attorney since 1985, so over 30 years. I can help you with all your needs in criminal defense, traffic, DUIs, or any other situations that you or a loved one is in trouble. Please call me at any time at 656-9906. I'm available by email at fparisfjpllc.com, Facebook, or any other social media. I was picking the boys up after practice when they're like, can we get Quick Trip? Actually, that was my plan. What would Quick Trip's take home meals being? As the Quick Trip lady says, freshly made and absolutely delicious. But opportunity knocked. I go, if you let dad give you haircuts, and they say, deal. At Quick Trip, the boys are like spaghetti, chicken tenders, mac and cheese. After an easy dinner, it was time to pay the piper. Dad's like, who's next? A deal's a deal. Quick Trip, we got you covered. Here's to those who break the mold, to the few who dare to dream. We see you, we understand you, 
We are you. Bring your ambition to Gateway and we'll supply the world-class training. Our facilities and programs are state-of-the-art and our staff are experts in their fields. We're the number one choice for those who want to be a part of something more. Put your ambition into motion at Gateway. Being a teenager is tough. There's constant pressure to be liked, endless worrying about college, cyberbullying, high expectations, and all the negativity. What do Wisconsin's teens do when they want to block out the noise and clear their heads? They play. Research shows that teenagers who participate in high school sports have lower stress levels, more confidence, and greater self-esteem. And then there's the biggest benefit of all. High school sports are fun. Not just fun. They're a lot of fun. Encourage teenagers to participate in high school sports. They'll stress less and smile more. And they'll be laying the foundation for a happier, healthier future. This message is from the W. IAA. At the University of Wisconsin Parkside, we're producing the next generation of leaders, students studying biosciences, IT, business management, and digital design and fabrication will lead us into a new era of success powered by bright young minds that solve problems and invent products. And it starts with choosing a university that's affordable, with small class sizes, in-demand programs, and excellent placement rates. See what the future looks like. Visit uwp.edu. Be at Parkside, the University of Wisconsin Parkside. Hello. What's up? Hello. 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 It's just a kind thing to do. Sometimes he wants friends, so you say hello. It all starts with hello. It might change the world and make everybody nicer. I don't know. Maybe it's just magic. Maybe if you say hi to one person a day, think about the fact that you might be potentially changing that person's life for the better. I was picking the boys up after practice when they're like, can we get Quick Trip? Actually, that was my plan. What would Quick Trip's take home meals being? As the Quick Trip lady says, freshly made and absolutely delicious. But opportunity knocked. I go, if you let dad give you haircuts, and they say, deal. At Quick Trip, the boys are like spaghetti, chicken tenders, mac and cheese. After an easy dinner, it was time to pay the piper. Dad's like, who's next? A deal's a deal. Quick Trip, we got you covered. here in Lake Geneva with WGTD Sports for this playoff matchup between Lake Geneva Badger and the Milton Red Hawks. Our score after the first half, we've got the Badgers up 14-6 to six over the Red Hawks. And it will continue to be a game that is likely going to rest on the legs of the running backs of the two teams. We've seen Berghorn have success for Lake Geneva Badger. We've seen Bothune have a tremendous amount of success for Milton. It'll be interesting to see how these teams transition as we wind later on in this game, if somebody develops a lead, if we're going to see these teams move to the passing game. So we prepare for the second half kickoff. Once again, I am Jake Keith in for Bob Haggerty. Bob's got the night off. He's in a play, I believe. So we wish you the best of luck, Bob. Break a leg, and I'll try and do the same here on my end. Opening kickoff here of the third quarter. Lake Geneva will be receiving the ball. It will be crucial for Milton to come out and make a big stop here to start the first half, the second half, rather. Quite the lively student section tonight. I've heard them quite a bit up here in the broadcaster's booth. Forty-four for Badger. Ethan Francois on the kickoff. Fielded around the 10. He's got a big lane to run. Number three. 
Ooh, gets stuck at the 40-yard line. Big hit there by Milton. That might be the biggest hit we've seen all night. Those kickoffs can go both ways. If you get a full head of steam, you could be gone in an instant. If you run into someone with a full set head of steam, you aren't going anywhere. That was the kicker as well. That was number 44 for Milton. Xander Wutrich, who made the tackle. And we're going to put the ball at the badger 25. First and 10. My apologies. The kicker's name is Xander Wutrich, who did both the kicking and the tackling on that play. So now we welcome you back for the second half here with WGD Sports. Once again, Lake Geneva up 14-6 with the opening drive here. One receiver off to the right. Hand off. Big hole up the middle. Picks up nine. Cole Berg Berghorn with the run. On the 33-yard line. Second and two. It's a playoff game. We've seen both sidelines be lively tonight as well. This second half, the emotion will be high between both teams. You've got to be able to manage that emotion and channel it if you want to have success in the playoffs. Second down and two here for Lake Geneva. One receiver out to the right for Badger. Hand off of the middle. Berghorn on the carry again, and that will be enough for a Badger first down. First and 10 Badgers at the 39. Patience is the name of the game for Lake Geneva Badger. Two turnovers by their quarterback, Keegan Huber, in the first half. They're going to need to manage those turnovers, continue to pound the rock. Stay responsible with your relatively dominant running game and not make those mistakes. Don't give Milton a chance to gain momentum in the second half. Option play there, kept by the quarterback, swallowed up and taken down. Gain of about seven or eight there. Second and one. Second and one here from the call with over the PA announcer. I'm going to disagree. I'm going to say second and one and a half. Seen a similar formation all drive here for Badger. One wide receiver split out to the right. Heavy backfield. Will they continue to feed the ball to Berghorn here? No, it's an end around. And it's going to be number 25 for Badger, Jacob Needle on the carry. Jacob Needle on the carry. That is going to be enough to move the chains once again for Badger. Pass midfield and another first down. Line. First and ten Badgers. If you run the ball the way Badger has, you get two things. You get to both control the clock and the situation of the game, and you get to wear down the other team's defense. I would not be surprised to see that trend continue as they line up for first and ten. Hand off up the middle. Berghorn. Breaks it. Apologies. Burkhorn did not have the ball there. Still a successful run, nevertheless, for Badger. Second. And very short. They continue the trend of picking up seven or eight yards on these initial plays, giving themselves manageable situations to go ahead and convert that first down. You keep the chains moving, you wear down the other team, you're going to have success in this game. Play. That is a flag on the field. Looks like it's going to be a false start. And as soon as I say manageable All situation, again. Badgers end up Milton. backed up. Five now looking at... Oh, rather, it was a offsides call against That's Milton. Line, and so that will move the chains. That'll allow Badger to pick up a first down. Continue the drive here into Milton territory. Ball's on the 34. Milton cannot afford to go down two scores here. Quick tackle. One of those quick stops, something that Milton needed, only a couple yards in the game. We're looking at a second and eight here. Eight of two, second and eight. 
the 32 yard line. Once again, a chilly night here in Lake Geneva as temperatures begin to fall around the 40 degree mark. I look before me and I see plenty of warm hats in the audience. Bundled up for fall in Wisconsin. Second and eight. Hand off of the middle. No, rather it's to the outside. Number nine, Keegan Huber. He's had success with that misdirection. He's got wheels for a quarterback. When you continue to shove the ball down the throat of Milton, when you run those fake handoffs up the middle and wheel to the outside, you're gonna have space. And that results in a first down for Lake Geneva. Clock continues to take away. 7.15 left here in this third quarter. Lake Geneva with no passes so far on this drive, I believe. Another handoff. Burkhorn up the middle. Oh, Burkhorn on the carry. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Indeed. Run the ball up the gut. When you've got him keen in up the middle, take it outside. Second and four. We have seen costly turnovers from this Lake Geneva offense tonight. If it's not broken, don't fix it. I would be shocked to see Lake Geneva go back to the pass here. It has burnt them earlier in this game. Number nine, Huber under center. One wide receiver to the left. Hand off up the middle, Berghorn. No, it's an option to the outside. It's almost becoming a pattern at this point. Fake the ball up the middle of Berghorn, run it to the outside, chip away with the option play. Lake Geneva finds themselves with a first and goal here. First and goal at the five yard line. If you are Milton, you get tough on the run here. Make them throw it over the top on you. Make sure you key in on this run. Don't give them anything easy. Pitch right, Burkhorn. Good fight. Not gonna be enough. Down at the two or three. Oh, Burkhorn on the carry. Touchdown here would be much That's to the liking of this Lake Geneva Badger crowd. Second and goal. No wideouts. Goal line formation here for Lake Geneva Badger. Give it to our guy and run it up the middle. Paul Burkhorn on the carry. And it looks like still waiting on a ruling from the official. It's going to be just short. You've got to imagine if you're Lake Geneva, you've come all this way. You've run it down their throats. Why change anything? It's third and goal from the one. The stop here by the Milton defense, I still don't think would change the picture. You've got two chances to punch this one in the end zone and take a two-score lead. Five to go left here in the third quarter. Handoff up the middle. Oh, Burkhorn oh, is oh, in. Textbook drive from Lake Geneva. Didn't throw the ball once. Said, hey, here's our guy. We're going to hand it off, and he's going to punch it in. And it is 21, rather 20 to 6. Lake Geneva pending the extra point. Good blocking in that series from the Lake Geneva de uh, offense. A lot of their guys to work in between the trenches and bust those big plays outside when they've got the defense keen in on it. Lake Geneva with the chance to take a 15 point lead here. Hold is good. Kick is up and, and good. And we will take a quick break here. 21 to six tonight, Lake Geneva Badger. We are gonna take a break. We'll be right back. Once again, you're listening to WGDD Sports. 
My name is Frank J. Paris, and I am the primary and principal uh, owner of the law offices of Frank J. Paris. Been an attorney since 1985, so over 30 years. I can help you with all your needs in criminal defense, traffic, DUIs, or any other situations that you or a loved one is in trouble. Please call me at any time at 656-9906. I'm available by email at fparis fjpllc.com, Facebook, or any other social media. I was picking the boys up after practice. 4.55 remaining here in this third quarter of this playoff game between the Milton Red Hawks and Lake Geneva Badger. If you're Milton, you've got to be disappointed. You came out of that locker room fired up. You held it to a one-score game, and now you've got to get the ball back and score points to keep pace as the kickoff is to the right side of the field, deflected towards the backfield. Run up along the left sideline, taken down. No, still running. Finally down around the 38. Badger answered with their guys, Burkhardt and Huber. Now we will see if Zach Bothune continues to be the force for this Milton offense that he has been tonight. No. They've had some unfortunate stops. They've had some flags. They've had some issues where they've had to give the ball back to Lake Geneva. But when Zach Bothune has had it going, Milton's been tough to stop. This game is not over, not even by a little bit, as long as Bothune continues to be a force to be reckoned with. First and ten. Bunched up backfield. Takes the snap. As we've seen it time and time again tonight, Bothune up the middle. Nobody around him. He is gone. That is going to be 21-13 Milton, pending the extra point. Zach Bothoon, huge run up the middle. One play, get your defense back on the field, see if you can get the ball back, keep this thing going. Milton Redhawks, what a big play. Let's go to a replay really quick. We see time and time again, that power play up the middle. Bothoon got some hands on him, didn't stop moving. Before you know it, he's got nothing but green grass in front of him. Zach Bothoon. Milton manages to come back and win this game. I think I know who's getting the game ball. So Milton down nine, a critical, if they decide to go for a two point attempt here. Tensions are high here. A seven point game, drastically different from a two score lead. Both of them takes the snap, motion across. Throws it out, good grab by the receiver. Number 80 for Milton. Broken McIntyre with the catch, and we have a seven point game. Tight end runs a beautiful route here. On the line, good cut to the outside. That throw by Bothoon right on the money. He can throw the ball. He can pass the ball. Can he go out there and get a stop for the Milton defense? I don't think so, but help if he could. So 21-14. Stop me if I'm correct. One play drive. Big touchdown for Milton. Lake Geneva gets the ball back here. 21-14, 4.34 to go in the third quarter. And we await the kickoff here. Lake Geneva here. Such a deflating initial drive for the Milton defense. You're given a second chance. Your offense just went out and scored for you on one play. What can they do here? Kickoffs fielded around the five by Lake Geneva. Big hit there on the return. And the return man is tripped up around the 25. You can tell this Milton team is fired up. Can we get a replay of that really quick? Ignore the return man. Watch the coverage team streak downfield here and take out the blocker. Bang. That is smash mouth high school football right there. So, ball marked a little bit further upfield. Lake Geneva will take over on their own 23. 
First and ten. One wide receiver out to the right. Handoff up the middle. Berghorn. Will he counter? Up the middle to the 45. Lands a little awkwardly, but a big run there. Both these teams continue to move the ball down the field on the ground. The battle in the trenches has decidedly gone to the offense on both sides of the field here tonight. So first and ten. One receiver out to the right. Huber looks for the option, keeps it, and it gets swallowed up in the backfield. It's one thing to get a stop like that. You've got to be able to chain them together if you're the Milton defense right now. Lake Geneva's having too much success picking up these five yards, seven yard, 10 yard runs. If you can blow up another play like that, you force Lake Geneva's hand, you've got them in a third and one situation. That's what we need to see here for Milton if they want to get a stop on this drive. Get tough up front. Lake Geneva up the middle, runs some guys over. Burghorn up the middle. Sometimes, no matter what you do, you just can't stop the guy with the football. That has been the case with Paul Berghorn so far in the third quarter. 3-10 and counting here in the third as Lake Geneva continues to chain this long drive together in response to Milton's one-play touchdown to start the second half. Lake Geneva taking their time at the line. Back up the middle, Berghorn bounces off his own blocker. It's taken down into a gain of about three. Second and six, the 36-yard line. Second and six here, gain of four rather for Berghorn. And thank you for tuning into this WGDD sports production of this playoff game. Up the middle, still running. Rather a run to the outside, Keegan Huber does that little rollout play to the right that he's had so much success with tonight. Give it a bird horn, catch the defense sleeping, run it along the right sideline. We've seen that reflected quite a bit in the formations called by the Slate Geneva offense. They'll bunch at the line and leave one receiver outright who will help block for that play. And that's part of the reason why they've had so much success with it so far tonight. That's what we see again here. Bunch at the line, wide receiver out to the right. Handoff up the middle, and he's taken out quickly. Digging Hilber on the carry. You're the offense and you're the defense for both Lake Geneva and Milton. You've got to be tired. You were on the field for a long, hard-fought drive. Went over to the sideline, took a drink of water, you caught your breath. You watch Zach Botham snap off one play for a touchdown for Milton. And now you've got to face down this Lake Geneva offense again. You're winded. You're tired. What do you have left in the tank? Can you get a stop here? Pitch out to the left. Here's Burkhorn. Runs a couple guys over. And he's down inside the 15. At the 12 yard line. Lake Geneva continuing to run the football successfully. I don't know what Milton's got to do. Do you change up the look? Do you, do you drop back and make him run into the teeth of the defense? I don't know what it is that'll get you a stop. Rather, it looks as though there's a flag potentially on that play. Back at the 36 yard line. So the ball will move back. I stand corrected. A big run by Burkhorn. Washed out by the penalty. And, and now we are looking at second and 17. I believe a holding call on Lake Geneva. The clock continues to wind. 35 left in the third. Huber. 
Fakes the pitch, gets taken down in the backfield. Big hit. And that sack is going to be exactly what Milton needed. Third and a mile for Lake Geneva. And as the clock continues to wind, I believe we are going to be faced with a tremendous third down to start the next fourth quarter. I appreciate you tuning in tonight. This is the WIAA Division II playoffs. We have reached the end of the third quarter. The score, Lake Geneva Badger 21, Milton Red Hawks 14. We're going to take a quick break. We will be right back for the end of this game. Don't go anywhere. At the University of Wisconsin Parkside, we're producing the next generation of leaders, students studying biosciences, IT, business management, and digital design and fabrication will lead us into a new era of success, powered by bright young minds that solve problems and invent products. And it starts with choosing a university that's affordable, with small class sizes, in-demand programs, and excellent places. Back to start the fourth quarter here. Pitch to the outside to Burghorn, along the left sideline. Picks up a chunk, but it's not going to be enough for the first down. Now what do you do here if you're Lake Geneva? You're around your the opponent's 30-yard line. You're not deep enough to punt. You're not close enough to kick a field goal. Do you go for this on 4th and 14? And 14. Offense stays on the field. A fourth and 14 attempt here. This would be a backbreaker for the Milton defense if they allow this. I would be surprised if there's... No, they, they, they snap it. Cole Berghorn winds up for the pass. It's downfield, and that's an easy pick. Maybe should have let that one drop, but he's got space in front of him. Rolls out to the right. He's past where they were. He's still moving upfield. Along the 50, gets taken down at midfield. And Milton at long last has the stop they need. They will take over position at midfield and have the chance to tie this game up at the beginning of this fourth quarter. If not the second, maybe the third pick of the night by Jack Compton. Campton, rather. Campion, pardon me. At least the second, if not the third pick of the night by Campion for Milton. Right in the back. Tremendous effort by this defense the to force turnovers when they needed to. The 18-yard line, first and 10. Can't answer the name we've heard on yeah. both sides of the ball tonight. Let him get a breather on the bench and send it back out there. Eleven oh seven left in the fourth year. They ruled him down on the interception, so rather they're going to take over. Around the 18 here. First and 10 for Milton. Takes the snap. Bothoon on the right. Picks about five on the carry. Once again, as we continue to watch this fourth quarter, I'd like to remind you that this is WGTD Sports presenting this game between Milton and Lake Geneva. I'm Jake Heath, in for Bob Haggerty. You want to continue to keep your eye on the playoffs. Keep it tuned right here to WGDD Sports. Second down. Five yards to gain. High snap. Bothoon up the middle. Both not a carry. Just a yard or two. And that will be the third here for Milton. Milton. 
if you're Milton, I don't want to say the clock is on your side here, but it's a non-issue. You're in good shape. You can string together a long drive here, still have time for the defense to go out and make a stop and see what you can do later on in this game. But you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself. See if you can push this ball back past midfield. See what you can do on this drive. Work towards tying this game up. You've hung with this Lake Geneva team all game. What can you do on offense here? Two receivers out to the left. Bothoon in the backfield. Bit of a funny snap count. One receiver out to the right, three to the left. Takes the snap. That power run to the outside works for Bothoon. Past the 30, taken down around the 33. Blocking doesn't just come down to the line. It's the receivers who have had a tremendous amount of success so far this game. Opening up holes for the quarterbacks on both teams, especially both in for Milton. Does appear we have a flag on the field currently. Or at least the officials discussing what could be a flag. That is going to be a penalty on Milton. No, two penalties are going to offset. They are going to have to replay that down. No, personal foul penalty is offset. So it will be first and 10 for Milton. Nice wing two and counting here in the fourth. Two receivers to the right, back to the left of Bothoon. Takes the snap. Up the middle. Look at the holes for Bothoon as he runs those plays up the gut. Down to the 45 and another first down for these Milton Red Hawk offense. Bothoon has run. It's almost looked like a draw. He takes a little stutter step and then he cuts it up the middle and he's had a tremendous amount of success with that so far tonight. Takes the snap. Same thing. Plenty of room. What a good tackle there. That is going to be number one for Badger High School. Seth Johnson on the tackle. Bothoon had a lot of room in front of him. If he hadn't been dragged down, he could have possibly picked up 10 or 20 or more on that play. Look at that full head of steam he had before that tackle. So Milton pushing towards midfield here. No wideouts. One one back in the backfield. Snap to Bothoon. Continues to push. Bothoon down at, the mid at midfield. If I'm Milton and I'm their coaching staff, I got to be careful about managing Bothoon as this game goes on. He's clearly a spectacular player. He's been the one having success for this Milton offense. But can he continue to manage this workload? He's been really the only driving force for this Milton offense tonight, is he going to be able to sustain that? What if they tie this game and it goes into overtime? Is he going to be able to continue to keep that pressure up? Two receivers out to the right. Third and three here. Milton looking for a conversion here on third down. Switches formation. One receiver to the left, three to the right. Bothoon alone in the backfield. Good vision, good stiff arm. He's got room. He's going to go. 30, and he slides down. Zach Bothoon on the carry. It's all coming together for Zach Bothoon right now. Agility, good vision. And he continues to chain together these runs. Really be the only thing we've got going right now for the Milton offense. Clock continues to run. 7-11 left in the game. Both teams have their full complement of timeouts. First and 10 on the 31 for Milton. Everybody in tight for the Lake Geneva defense. Bothoon, rather, I have to write, that's Compton. Compton. He takes it over the right. I wouldn't be surprised to see that more as this drive continues to go on. They've had Bothoon shoulder such a heavy workload. You've got to spell him a little bit. Get somebody in there who can gain at least a few yards to make it more manageable for Bothoon as this goes on. Let's go on. 
Campton receives a snap, high snap, manages to field it cleanly. He's got some space in front of him, but I have the feeling that's going to be a hole. And that is going to be rough for the Badger offense, rather the Milton offense. We've had success running the football, now a second and eight quickly becomes what could be a second and 18. Are you going to be able to continue to run the same offense? Are you going to have to bring somebody else in potentially to come in and catch a pass or is running the ball? We've hardly seen any passing plays this entire Falling half so far. Milton. Second and 18. And so a long second and 18 here for Milton on offense. Ball at the 39 yard line. Ball just past the 40. This Lake Geneva crowd is starting to get loud here, imploring their defense, step up, make a stop. Two receivers to the right. Bothoon takes the snap. Deep ball, he's got his man, and it's caught! Defender draped around him, doesn't matter. Number 10 for Milton, that's gonna be Gage Hasky catches it, and that is gonna be a first and 10. Rather, a first and goal for your Milton Red Hawks. Bothoon has run the ball well all night, but when he has dropped back and pass, he has thrown some beautiful balls to his receiver. Right in the bread basket. Hasky manages to pick up a few yards with a receipt with a defender around his ankle. Now we see Ken Milton punch this in and tie this game up. 5.45 and counting here in the fourth quarter. Bothoon up the middle. He's gonna fight down the one, maybe the two. At the two yard line, second and goal. The student section is standing here at Lake Geneva Badger. Waiting with anticipation. Can their defense come up with a goal line stop? This is both Thune's touchdown to score. You've got to imagine the Lake Geneva defense keys in on them as they are in a goal line set. Bothoon with the snap, up the middle, rolls off a couple defenders, gains a couple feet, maybe a yard. This is no doubt about that fourth down territory right now for Milton. As we take a timeout, we will see, can Milton tie this game up? You're listening to WGTD Sports. I've seen no defeat. No defeat. I have the best. In me. In me. So I require the best. Warriors like us. We make our own. We make our own destiny. We make our own destiny. We push back in the face of adversity. We turn up the heat. Is it in you too? Make your move. Make your move. Make your move. Make your move. We've got a close one here in Lake Geneva as Milton looks to tie the game up here on this drive. 21-14 Lake Geneva, 4.45 left in the fourth. And with third and goal on the one, who's gonna fight here? Who's gonna come up with the play they need? The stands are shaking. Bothoon up the middle. Missing in. It's close, but it looks like they're gonna mark him short. And we are at the biggest game, the biggest play rather, of the ball game here. Fourth and goal from the one. What do you call here? Love the energy from the student section. The building is shaking. Milton with one more shot to tie this game up. Thank you again for tuning in. WGTD Sports, we got receivers on the left and right. Bethune ready for the snap. Defense lined up at the line. Motion man to the right. Bethune looks for space and he is in. That is a touchdown. Pending the extra point, we have a tie game. 3.54 to go here in the fourth quarter. 
Milton Redhawks, what a gutty drive. That's Zach Bothoon, do what he did, move the ball up to midfield, take a couple plays for a breather, and then march his team into the end zone. We have a tie game. Ladies and gentlemen, do not go anywhere. Now let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. We have seen one missed extra point tonight. Commentator's curse right there. I should be really careful with my choice of words. Let's go! Look at the energy here on the sideline. Milton rather going for two. Bothoon ready to receive the snap. Hands it off and a throw. Incomplete. It looked as though initially the receiver had made the catch, but they are going to say that one was dropped. Creative play there from Milton. A bit of a questionable play call, in my opinion. We've had success with Bothoon all drive. Why not have him run the ball rather than try a fancy play to the outside? Good effort there by our camera crew. It looked as though the receiver had come up with it. But the referee, a perfect position there on the sideline, ruled it incomplete. Unfortunately, there are no red flags here at this level. Milton will have to live with their decision. 21-20 here with 3.54 remaining in the fourth quarter. Milton's manufactured some turnovers tonight, but they've had trouble getting a true stop. Have to wonder how they're going to play the rest of this game out. It looks as though we are in set in, in line rather for a thrilling conclusion here. For the kickoff, let me set the scene. Lake Geneva up one. Just a tick under four minutes left on the clock. Milton with two timeouts, so they have the potential to stop the clock twice. No two minute warning in high school football. So they'll need to stop and they'll want it quickly, especially with the way they've moved the ball on offense. They've not had a heavy passing attack. They're gonna need time. Onside kick here, recovered by Badger. Disappointing if you're Milton, but by no means that much of a backbreaker. You still get an opportunity on defense to come up with a stop, and that defense is fired up. They forced turnovers all night. Can they key in the names we've heard all night? Birdhorn and Huber. High school playoff football. The best you're gonna get here tonight in Lake Geneva. First and ten. Handoff up the middle, Berghorn. Fights through a couple defenders. He's gonna have a first down. Still dragging three guys along with him. What a run there by Berghorn. Big first down. Continue to move the pile. Fight. Look as he's got one, two. Three Milton defenders all over him, and he still manages to fight forward past the 35, rather the 40. Let's go, D! It is worth noting here that a field goal will put Lake Geneva in exceptional position. To put them up four, force Milton to drive the length of the field in order to take the lead back. First and 10, 315 and counting. Milton with two timeouts, ball on the right hash. Hand off to the left here, Berghorn up the middle. Oh, Berghorn on the carry. Game five, maybe six. Line. Hey. Hey. That clock continues to wind. The clock no oh, longer your alley here for Milton. Second and four. I believe we have a timeout for Milton here. Stops the clock, 2.55 left to play. We are gonna take a quick break. We will see the conclusion of this game when we come back. You're listening to WGDD Sports. Don't go anywhere. Here's to those who break the mold, to the few who dare to dream. We see you, we understand you, we are you. Bring your ambition to Gateway and we'll supply the world-class training. Our facilities and programs are state-of-the-art, and our staff are experts in their fields. We're the number one choice for those who want to be a part of something more. Put your ambition into motion at Gateway. Now down to one timeout. I'd like to remind you, 
This is brought to you by Wisco High Level. Love high school sports? Subscribe to the Wisco High Level presented by the Racine County Eye. Offering a free email newsletter. Huber. Adjusting the play. 255. Let's go. Let's go. Huber runs it to the outside. Big hit there by the defense. Number 40 from Lincoln skips over. Braden Lee with the hit. But it's going to be a first down still for Badger. Now the clock is becoming a critical issue. That is their third and final timeout. There is no two-minute warning in high school sports. And we are at 2.49. Do the math in your head. You're looking at, at best case scenario, if Lake Geneva plays this conservatively, you're looking at 30 or 40 seconds, depending on what they do with the ball. You need a stop, and you need it now. Pardon me. It's been quite the game. Take a moment, catch my breath, get ready. First and ten here, Lake Geneva. You've got to imagine they've had success with Burkhorn all night. He is your guy. You've got to pick up ten yards. You have won this game. Reminder what's at stake. A ticket to the next round of the WIA playoffs play the winner of either Kettle Moraine and Racine Horlick. First and 10, 249 left. One wide receiver on the left. Milton looking for a potential takeaway. Handoff up the middle. Big game by Berghorn, maybe eight or nine there. To the 18 yard line. And Milton is powerless to stop the clock. Second and three. 233 left in the game. If you're a Milton, you fought all game. How much you have left in the tank? You want to pull up the upset. Can you find one more turnover here on defense? If you're Lake Geneva, just hold on to the ball. Number three. Oh, it's out to the right there. One wide receiver on the right. We are going to look at a timeout here from Lake Geneva. WGD. WGDD Sports brought to you by UW Parkside, a student-centered university with a 19 to 1 student to teacher ratio and 100% of classes taught by professors, not teaching aids. UWP.edu. like to thank some of our other sponsors, Gateway, Quick Trip, Frank J. Parise. All of you have made this possible, giving us the opportunity to cover one heck of a high school football game tonight. Once again, I am Jay Keith. Glad you decided to come along with us on this. Honestly, beautiful fall night here. A little bit chilly, but I don't think anybody on the field's feeling it now. Second and three. Look at Milton crowd the line. Hand off up the middle. That's Burkhorn. And I think he's got enough. Will that end this game? Lake Geneva sure thinks so. They are fired up. First and ten badger. That is a first down. And as the clock continues to run, I do not think Milton's gonna stop it. I believe we have reached pending any mistakes here. The conclusion to our game. Lake Geneva held a tenuous grasp on the lead through most of this second half. But after a tremendous drive to pull them within one, Milton decides to go for the two-point conversion. A gutsy call, but it looks as though it will not pay off. As Lake Geneva comes on in victory formation. Huber with the kneel. 120 is the clock continues to roll. I'd like to thank everybody who made this production possible tonight. Um, without Troy McDonald reaching out and giving me the opportunity to cover this game, I would not be here for you tonight. Um, everybody who chipped in, Edie Fernet as our sideline reporter, Nobi Otino, up top camera, Tyler Boldenhouse, their sideline camera, Isaac Hessler, the court grip, 
and Migas are uh, talent to support social media. Eddie's been Eddie's been a heck of a help tonight. Forty eight seconds and counting. Lake Geneva with the kneel. And that may be it. Once again, thank you to everybody on the crew for helping us cover it. They're going to let the clock run. Lake Geneva's going crazy. They're on to the next round of the playoffs. Milton, after fighting so hard, having the opportunity to tie the game, their two-point conversion does not pay off. And that will be the final score. Lake Geneva, 21. Badger, 20. And that will be the end of the game tonight. I appreciate you tuning in. We've got some highlights we're going to show you from the second half. It's a close game. It's close all night long. But it was Milton. That's the end of the game. Final score, Badger 21, Lake Geneva 20. Apologies for the Apologies, rather, it was Badger who got the scoring started in the second half. Cole Berghorn up the middle. But then it was the one play run of the Zach Bothune up the middle. That brought it back within one score. Nobody touched him once he got past the 30. And now, Bothoon converts the two-point conversion. Maybe gave him some confidence. Could come back to bite them later. Berghorn running strong all night long. Up the middle, takes to the 45 there. Then, continued to be the Cole Berghorn show for Lake Geneva Badger. Good kick return there. The return teams on both teams played spectacularly tonight. Shifted the momentum multiple times for both teams. And then as we move on to the fourth, it was the it was rather the Zach Bothoon performance that gave Milton life in this game. Excellent throw down the sideline, and then a critical fourth and goal. Bothoon motions the receiver over, powers it in for the touchdown. At that point, I thought that they were going to kick an extra point, but instead they elect. Why not? You're on the road. Go for the two. Beautiful pass. Just a little bit off the money. And I think the referee called it incomplete. I wasn't sure. We didn't get a great look at it. And then Lake Geneva manages to run out the clock. <laughs> what a heck of a game. Once again, I'm so thankful I've had the opportunity with WGD Sports to call this game. Lake Geneva will move on to the next round of the WIA playoffs. They will play either the winner of Kettle Moraine and Racine Horlick. So I believe that is all that we have for you tonight. Um, I'm Jay Keefe, once again, in for Bob Haggerty. I went, your, hope your play went well, Bob. You missed a heck of a football game here. Um, but you did it. You tuned in, and you got to see our final outcome. Lake Geneva 21, Milton 20. I hope you enjoyed tonight's game, if not the outcome. I'm Jay Keefe. Thank you for tuning in to WGTD Sports. Thanks again.